Hi, my name is Gary Taylor and I want to walk you through React Router version 4 transitions. Now you can head me up at, at GPL Taylor in general public license, even software is in my name. And at GitHub on GPL Taylor again. And I've also got a repository on there called React Router Workshop, which you can pull down all of the code that I've got in this example and much, much more. And just to plug my own website, I've got trenchsoftware.co.uk forward slash YouTube. Let's get straight into this. We have a very basic website that allows us to go between an about us and an apply page. And we've got a very simple three page site here. What I want to be able to do is put some kind of transition in. Now here's a bit of a trick guys. The transitions can do different things. Most people are used to transitions doing things like making it animated or, or doing some kind of swooping effect. But don't forget guys that we can also put things in there like check and see if the user is allowed to be on that page and take them to a login page or an unauthorized page. So, you know, transitions do more than just transition in. They allow you control over what happens before that occurs. Right, so let's dive into the code. Um, everything here uses an amazing thing called Create React App. Run that on command line, you get your React App set up and running, so it's really quick. Dive over to the app settings, and we can see that I have a basic root set up, the forward slash about us and apply. Just going to render the home page, the about us, and the app form. So we can see here the home page, the about us, and the app form. So let's have a dig through the code. It's nothing special, we've just got some standard components. But what I want to be able to do is let's animate this, let's make it funky and fresh and cool. Now, the way that React Router works is they have a higher order component that you can do. So what I want to do is I want to kind of swoop in and, and have a, like a, a nice animated effect that makes it fade in. So what I'm going to do is I'm create a higher order component, which is a component that just shows another component, basically, and it allows you to extend its functionality. And inside that, I'm going to put our root in, and I'm going to put a fade in, and then the component that we want. So we can see now that if we was to use this fade in with match, what we could do is we can put this down at the bottom, now fade in and fade in, and that will then use this fade in transition and render in the component that we've passed in, which would end up being this puppy here. So we now have the ability to do the fade in actions. Now here's the trick guys, this is really quick. Um, I've not put any effort into this, I've just got a really basic fade-in animation. In fact, I would recommend you don't use this type of fade-in animation because it's highly coupled to things like the window and the DOM. But at the end of the day, I know this is for a browser, I've built it for a browser, and it's quick and cheerful. If I want to replace this fade-in component, I can do so at any point in time, very quickly, and the rest of my website is just going to get better and quicker. So just for implementation, what I've got is a fade-in reaction that uses CSS to transition in, changing the opacity over a number of seconds. We also have the ability to pass in a transition element so that we can change the speed of which transaction transitions will apply. So let's give this a whirl. Um, I've just run this, and because it's React Router, uh, sorry, because we're using a Create React App, um, any changes that I've made should be being rendered onto the page that we've got. Here's the page that we've got. Um, go to Home, About Us, Ooh, and we can see we've got this lovely fade-in animation. Uh, same for the Apply. It's a little bit slow, so what I want to do is potentially speed that up. So we can do that and override the default settings that I showed you. So if we dive back to the code, the uh, Match with Fade. And really, I should call that root with fade. Um, it used to be called match, which is why it's still called match. So could probably do with updating that. But I've got transition. We've got a transition effect. We then go to the fade in, which is going to use the props, which is called transition. And we're passing in the string, which is going to be the CSS that we run. So with that in mind, I should be able to go down to our prop, our components, and pass in some props. Can't even copy and paste correctly. Let's change that to two, change that to three. 
So what we should have now is we should have this refreshing. If we go to the about us, fades in in two. If we go to apply, fades in in three. So very simple, guys. The ability to use transitions to animate your uh, application using React Router very, very, very quickly. Don't forget that we can also use this to render different components to change the way that things work. You could make an Ajax call to see whether the person's logged in and, and show a login page. All sorts of cool things can be done using uh, the transitions. There's a couple of technologies in there, the higher order component, which is the ability to take a component and extend it and wrap something around it. And th then what we're doing is we're taking the, the root component, we're extending that and wrapping our own functionality into that. So now we have a fade in with our own root components. So although we've got a, a root, which is a component from React Router, we can still take that and extend it to do our own bidding, which is pretty cool. Um, as always, guys, if you love this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. Every time I get a, uh, a subscriber, I tell my wife and she rolls her eyes. But, you know, it means a lot to me. So cheers, guys. Bye now.